John chapter 16. Christ promises to send the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> I have told you all these things that you may not fall into error. They will expel you from the synagogues. Yes, the time draws near when anyone who attacks you to kill you will imagine that he offers God special devotion. Yet, they will do these things to you because they do not know God the Father, nor do they likewise know me. But I have informed you of these things so that when the hour arrives, you may recall that I did inform you concerning them. I did not address you on these things in the beginning, for I was with you. But now I proceed to the Lord God who sent me. Yet no man among you asks me, Where are you heading? Where are you heading? Instead, your hearts are now very sorrowful, because I told you these things. Despite this, I address you in truth. It benefits you, sure enough, that I go away. For if I do not depart, the all-compassionate, the comforter, will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he does arrive, he will condemn the world regarding sin, regarding righteousness, and regarding judgment. Regarding sin, because they have no faith in me. Regarding righteousness, because I return to the Lord God, my Father, and you no longer see me. Regarding judgment, because the chief of this world faces judgment. I have many more things to tell you, but you are not able to retain them at this time. But when the Spirit of Truth does arrive, He shall lead you into every truth, for He shall not speak concerning Himself or regarding His powers, but precisely as He hears, He shall speak, and He will inform you regarding all things to come. He will glorify Me, for I will obtain of that which is Mine, and proclaim it to you. Everything that belongs to the Father is mine. Hence I said that he will obtain of that which is mine and proclaim it to you. In a little while you will no longer see me. But thereafter, in a little while, you will see me once more. Because I proceed to the Father. Now some of the followers of Jesus disputed among themselves, saying, What is this that Jesus tells us? In a little while you will no longer see me, but thereafter in a little while you will see me once more, and because I proceed to the Father. And the disciples argued, saying, What does Jesus mean by in a little while? We do not understand what Jesus implies by this. At this time Jesus was quite aware that they wanted to ask him, and so he asked them, are you questioning yourselves and making an investigation regarding what I said? In a little while you will no longer see me. But thereafter, in a little while, you will see me once more. Truly, truly, I say to you that you will weep and grieve. The world, meanwhile, will be glad and you will be sad. But your sadness will be changed into happiness. A woman wails and laments when she is in travel because a period of pain has come. But once she has been delivered of the infant, she does not remember the intense pain and suffering anymore. She is already overwhelmed with joy that a baby, a human being, is born into the world. So you have grief and pain at present. But I will see you once more, and there shall be joy in your heart, and no man will deprive you of your happiness. 
You will not ask me anything on that day. Truly, truly, I say to you, anything you ask the Father in my name, he will surely give it to you. You have not asked anything in my name until this time. Ask, and it will surely achieve that you may enjoy perfect happiness. I've told you all these things in a special proverbial language. But the time is approaching when I will not address you in a special proverbial language. But I will inform you clearly about God the Father. You will ask from God all you want in my name on that day. And I do not tell you I shall entreat the Father on your behalf. For God the Father himself loves you. As you have loved me, believing that I proceeded from God. I originated from God, the Father, and did proceed into the world. Again, I shall depart the world and proceed to God, the Father. And the followers of Jesus said to him, Behold, you are now addressing us clearly and employing no proverbial language. We are quite confident at this time that you are omniscient, you know everything. There is obviously no need for any person to query you on your authority and actions. We believe through this sign that you originated from God. Jesus replied them, do you truly believe? Sure enough, the time is approaching, and yes, it has now arrived. When you shall all disperse, everyone to his own way, and you shall forsake me. Yet, I am not forsaken, for God the Father is with me. I have told you all these things, so that you may find peace and happiness in me. In the world, you shall find great suffering and pains, but be happy and always contented, for I have overcome the world.